Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Gianluca Massi is speaking on behalf of the Virtual Telescope Project from Rome, Italy. And it's a pleasure for me to welcome you on board for this new live event covering once again something unique and special happening somewhere up in the sky. Tonight we are ready to share live images of this uh, small near-Earth asteroid 2023 AU just uh, approaching and uh, we are happy to share these pictures live thanks to a very nice sky tonight so happy that we could start this live feed regularly I just uh, ask you to wait for one second before I can uh, hopefully start sharing images because I'm just setting a few things on the telescope remotely. So I'm going to just to check that everything is uh, ready to start the live feed. So again, I'm here ready to share live images of this object, hey 2023 hey Y, and I would like to start sharing the live feed right away because we are lucky enough to have a good sky. And let me start sharing the live feed from the telescope. Here we are, friends. Okay, so we are starting this live feed covering the very close approaching asteroid 2023 Hey Y, and uh, I am doing this uh, from Italy. As you know, the Virtual Telescope Project has uh, its uh, telescopes uh, based in Italy. So let's go and let's have fun with this uh, live close approach. <coughs> Sorry. We are going to start sharing images of this smaller flying rock, the near Earth asteroid 2023 Hey Y, coming uh, very close to our planet in uh, a few hours later today, exactly at uh, 11.35 more or less universal time. This uh, small object having a diameter somewhere between 13 and 30 meters, this little rock will come as close as 238,000 kilometers from the Earth. This is a very close, just 62% of the average lunar distance, but this is just a safe close encounter. This object is not going to hit our planet. Our telescope is already tracking this rock and uh, here we are having uh, live images. This uh, was taken by our system uh, seconds ago because as I said we are already tracking this uh, little object. What is happening here? We have a telescope. I asked to our telescope to slew to point up there in the sky where the object is, this small object about 15 meters in diameter, more or less the size of the Selyabinsk meteor. As I say, this is about 240,000 kilometers far away, that is about 62% of the average lunar distance, so while this is very close in astronomical term, it is an absolutely safe close approach. Nothing is going to happen and as I say, this, is, uh, this rock is coming uh, that close in uh, about uh, 10 hours by now. So we are observing this object while <coughs> it is still close approaching. See, it's still approaching us.
it's always a pleasure it's always a pleasure for us to track this kind of objects live bringing the experience to you via the virtual telescope project as you can see the telescope is tracking the apparent motion of this closed asteroid while it is crossing the space out there and this is why you see the stars on the background leaving trails because the telescope is tracking at the very specific asteroid motion this is why the asteroid is showing like a dot of light while the stars on the background are leaving trails because i repeat we are tracking the object this is a small rock giving the opportunity to enjoy these very precious astronomical objects asteroids are uh, very important to understand the origin of our solar system i see this small rock has been discovered a few days ago on 13th of march by the atlas survey in south africa and it was announced the following day and uh, while we are speaking it is uh, safely approaching us I'm just doing a few calculations just to tell you how far the object is uh, right now from us <clears throat> just wait a couple of seconds so that I can do this calculation <clears throat> Well, at the time we are speaking, this object is uh, marginally less than 600,000. So it is uh, more distant than the moon right now. But as I said, in about 11 hours, it will come as close as uh, about 240,000 kilometers, 62% the average lunar distance and we are observing it in real time via our robotic telescope doing once again a great job to bring to you these uh, experiences at their best earlier today another asteroid was announced to come uh, very close even closer than this 44 percent the average lunar distance on uh, march 25 and we are going to schedule and announce a live feed covering it next week so stay tuned but meantime let's have fun with this images are coming uh, back to back let me take a longer exposure that is, uh, let's capture light from this uh, close approaching asteroid for two minutes now, giving the object, the asteroid, more time to move. So we will have uh, longer star trails now, as soon as the, news, the new exposure will end. I love this technology, making possible for us to bring to you these amazing things. I want to thank also the technological partners of the Virtual Telescope Project and they are Unitron, in our, Unitron Italian Instruments, Software Disk, C-Web and Telescope Live. And uh, this technology is making possible for you to join from the comfort of your home while I am sitting uh, at my desktop here in my office in Rome with a telescope about 100 kilometers south of Rome at the time. I am speaking to you now. This is asteroid 2023 AY going to come as close, as I said, as close as uh, 240,000 kilometers from the Earth's center in uh, about uh, 10 hours by now. 10 hours by now. This is uh, an absolutely safe close encounter with us. 
while close, I repeat, in astronomical terms, 240,000 kilometers are a lot as far as uh, Earth safety is concerned. So nothing is going to happen. Just a precious opportunity to enjoy asteroids coming that close. <clears throat> While we are imaging it, this object is about uh, 580,000 kilometers from us. That is 150% uh, the average lunar distance. So it is more distant than the moon and coming closer and closer safely, of course. <clears throat> I'm always very happy the virtual telescope can bring to you this experience. If you want to support us, consider donating to the virtual telescope project. You can easily do this, donating whatever you want, just visit www.virtualtelescope.eu and uh, you will find the donate section there so www.virtualtelescope.eu slash donate if you want to support us we just survived thanks to the help of an handful of uh, friends just uh, making possible for us to pay bills because we don't have any different funding than this so if you want you can support the virtual telescope right now look here as uh, such uh, a longer exposure made possible for us to track this object longer just uh, giving us longer star trails as i said we are tracking this uh, 15 meters more or less large object while it is uh, uh, more distant than the moon right now about 600,000 kilometers and our telescope is uh, beautifully tracking it a new image is coming in a few seconds here it is and the object, of course, is this uh, dot of light. Tonight the sky is just perfect, making possible for us to share the experience with you. Recently we had uh, a favorable weather while we wanted to cover other astronomical events like uh, the full moon earlier this month and unfortunately weather did not cooperate but tonight at least we are we have a green light as you can see and we clearly are observing this object successfully This is Gianluca Massi speaking on the behalf of the Virtual Telescope project. And uh, I was happy that we could bring to you the asteroid we are observing now, 2023 AY, discovered a few days ago on uh, March. 13 by the Atlas survey from uh, South Africa and as I say this object having a diameter between 13 and 30 meters will come as close as uh, 240,000 kilometers in about 10 hours by now I apologize about 11 hours by now just to be more accurate 
the minimum distance will be reached at uh, 11.35 universal time so 11 hours from now so friends after sharing uh, these live images I will be going to close uh, this live feed uh, in a few minutes I was happy I repeat that we were able to bring to you this live experience sharing uh, real-time images of the the clue the very close approaching asteroid 2023 hey why while uh, safely coming as close as uh, as I said uh, 200 okay sorry I was checking the weather I said we are happy that we are tracking live with you this uh, very close approaching uh, asteroid 2023 hey coming as close as 240,000 kilometers from our planet in uh, 11 hours no risks at all for our planet because this is very close in astronomical terms but still huge as far as the earth safety is concerned so this is a truly very safe encounter just uh, giving us the opportunity to observe such a small rock very easily and uh, it is always a nice opportunity to just exploit this uh, close uh, approaching uh, objects to better understand the near earth object uh, population and asteroids in general playing such an important role mm, just to better understand and unveil the origin of our solar system we were happy to bring to you once again the universe live if you want you can support the virtual telescope project you can just visit www.virtualtelescope.eu slash donate and from there you can easily support us donating whatever you want it is the only source of funding for us so if you like what we want what we do if you want to see more just consider supporting us you will always join our live feeds for free this is our mission it has been so over the last 17 years when we literally invented this uh, live experience to enjoy our universe no matter if we are observing a close approaching asteroid sometimes very close approaching or a very distant exploding star the spirit is always the same the virtual telescope is here to bring to you this unique opportunity just uh, sharing the cosmos live with you that's all my friends i hope you had uh, some good time with us tonight the Rukamasi Virtual Telescope Project is uh, just sending the very best wishes to everyone on this beautiful planet. Keep in mind that next week we will share another asteroid coming even closer, but another, other, other live feeds, live events are coming. Just check our website to learn more. That's it. Thank you for joining the Rukamasi Virtual Telescope Project Italy.